Hi, so in this video what I'm going to show you is what I use bedding wise for my ferrets. It's getting to that time of year now when it's getting colder, dark nights, um, nights are longer, wetter and um, you need to sort of, if you keep your ferrets outside like I do all, all year round, you need to start thinking about what you want to put in the bed in for them to keep warm on a night. Now, six, seven years ago when I first got ferrets, I used straw for the bedding in, just had them in a big hutch, um, three hob ferrets, and I found that the straw was always getting wet and damp and inside the actual nest box where they slept there was um, a lot of moisture and I wasn't actually sure where it was coming from I drilled holes in the side so there was air holes so there was plenty of ventilation but it was just always wet <coughs> so I chose to swap to shredded paper which is cheaper than straw in fact it's for me it's free um, I don't buy a newspaper, I don't read a newspaper, but my dad does. So I get him to save all the newspapers and I just shred them. Um, so what I'm going to do is I'm going to show you what I do, what it's like, and then I'm going to clean the ferrets out and I'll put, I'm going to put some in the bedding. We haven't had many frosts yet, we've only maybe had, I think maybe three frosts on a night, it's still quite mild to be honest to say it's beginning of November so from today they're going to get bedding in actually in their nest boxes so what I've got is basically a, a cheap shredder that we've had for years um, we never use it the only thing it's used for is me shredding newspaper so got an old kitchen bin and that just allows me to do more at a time and the paper can actually drop through the shredder and, and into the bin. So what I do is I start with the newspaper, tear it, if you fold it in half as you would a normal newspaper, and you just tear it down that fold and get it to go straight like that. That's it torn in half and then all I do is shred it simple as, until you got enough. Now I've already done a good couple of newspapers, so in here now there is lots of shredded paper and what I'll do is when I put this into the bedding I'll just break it up a bit, just pull it apart and then the ferrets will just nest in that and they'll love it and it's warm it stays dry um, they tend to I think they tend to chew it up a bit and make it smaller eventually but then I'll change that maybe every couple of weeks two three weeks depending on how much they've sort of shredded it up even more or it just comes into little bits um, and yeah they, they all get nested down in that and, and it's and it's really warm it's good, it's good bedding and, it, and like I say it stays I've never had a problem with this being wet and I think it was just the straw I was using um, so I'll clean the penthouse out I'll get the ferrets out, I'll clean it out and then I'll, I'll put I'll show you the shavings I use as well on the floor um, which also go in the nest box and then the ship and then the paper's just on top so we'll, I'll do that and then okay so we're in the penthouse <coughs> um, I've cleaned out the dirty shavings from where they go to the toilet which is mainly in this corner and that corner um, what I did recently was I re-covered the floor with um, like a self-leveling flooring compound self-leveling concrete and that's made it a lot easier to clean so I can just literally sweep or scoop the shavings up around it being tamper concrete like it was before um, so what I use on the floor is I buy a bale of shavings so this is what's left of this bale and it was originally 
quarter of this high. You can buy these usually from the agricultural stores, people use them for horse bedding. And they're about £8 a bale. And this, I used to get a new one about every, every three or four weeks. So, basically, Loosen it up. It's just shaving on the clock. Now, this is this isn't actual sawdust. It's a bit different to actual sawdust. But you can see it's quite. It's actual shavings. So. There isn't the dust con there is dust in it, but there isn't that much of dust content. It eventually after it's been in here a week or so or two weeks, it does eventually come break down to a dust. Um, so what I do is I clean out the corners where they go to the toilet and then the shavings that are left, if there's if I are cleaning the whole lot out, I'll push into them corners so that gets used next. And then the new shavings I'm putting in are on the floor where they're sort of walking about all the time. So then all I do is kick that around the floor. And you want, I don't know, maybe an inch, half an inch to an inch covering, and it just makes it better for them to walk around on. They're not walking around on a cold floor. Because again, we are outside, even though it's covered over and sheltered. And then, again, in the nest box, which you can see here, which you had to sleep, the gold. The pipe on the right which curls around and in through that hole and into here and again it's just the same stuff that's on the floor is on the base of the nest box so that's all pretty clean i changed that maybe last week i think it was um so it's it's still shavings so they'll all tend to sleep in here they can also sleep on the hammock in there which is like a, a cat bed type thing, blanket, and they'll sleep on there as well. And I've noticed when they are too warm, they will literally just sleep in the shavings on the floor. So you don't tend to necessarily worry about them being cold. They will, they do change the fur to a winter coat but when <coughs> when they live outside. They are warm blooded animals, so they'll, they'll shed the fur in summer and they'll have a thinner coat and they'll also fatten up in winter so they'll, 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 when I show you them they are a lot fatter and they have got thicker coats which they'll do every winter and in summer they'll lose weight and they'll have a thinner coat same as cats and dogs and most other animals that live outside um, right so I'll grab the shedded newspaper that I did earlier and we'll shove it in the nest box and then we'll bring the ferrets in right so we're back in here um, I brought, this is the shredded newspaper in the bin, so this is, there's more than enough in here really. So what I'm going to do is literally just pour all of that into the nest box. So that's a good two or three, two or three paper, new, full newspapers. So that's all of that, and then, as you can see in there now, it's it's pretty full and it's it's full right to the back. So what I'm going to do is just rip some of that up, and pull it into smaller pieces, just so it's a little bit easier for them, so they aren't getting tangled up in it so much. This is pretty long length, as you can see, and then. They will make their own nest and bed out of this and sleep in it. 
and it's nice and warm. If you are looking to design your own sort of nest box or sleeping area for your ferret, the best thing you can do is have it up off the floor. You see there's quite a big gap from the from the base of that to the floor. And also you need you need air holes for ventilation and if it's out of the cold wind if, if you are if it is outside you want it sort of that south facing so the north is that way so any cold wind and rain is going to come from that direction and a few years ago I, I, although there's wire here there's actually plastic sheets over the back of that to stop the wind and rain coming in that way so they only get a breeze from the west and the south so it does stay pretty warm in here and pretty chilled in summer um, I've got a dog kennel run there now which is sort of sheltered the side of this even more there's Bramble there, hey Bramble um, so yeah so we'll get the ferrets back in and we'll see what they make of it Okay, so at the moment I've just brought in five of the ferrets. There's three of my other Jills in a hutch on their own at the moment. Um, while they've been in season this year, um, I've been separating. I've got three Jills here now. There's, there's Bonnie, Wilma and Betty who is currently gone into the nest box. Um, and then there's Barney and Clyde who are both big ferrets aren't they boys um, so yeah I've, I've, the other three Jills are in a little hutch that I built just to separate them because they were getting when they come into season over summer I found that they were mothering each other a lot and they were trying to drag each other back into the nest box and there was a lot of fighting and a lot of commotion and I don't need to separate the boys because they've all been all my obs have been castrated apart from Barney here who's had a vasectomy so it's his job to take all the jills out of season um, so the, the, they can all actually live together but because of the fighting and the carrying on between the jills I, I separated them and then what I was doing was I would keep these three jills in the hutch for so long and then after two or three weeks I'd swap them over and, and put them three back in here and the other three back in the hutch out there so in the next week or two now they're all fully out of season nearly Betty's still a little bit in season she's, she's coming out now um, and to say it's November she's quite late to be honest um, so I will eventually have them all back in here together. There is two other hobs, Harry and Charlie, which are my eldest two. They're still in their carry box out there for now. Um, but yeah, the, now now that winter's coming, they've got much thicker coats on them, and they're putting on a lot of weight. They're, they're getting a lot fatter than what they were. She's gone down my back. Um, and Bonnie here, you can just see the difference in the in the condition for what they are compared to summer. Come here, she's in my sleeve. So, as for the nest box, oh, in there. I'll just show you. 
as you can see there's Barney with Betty and Wilma all in there now and they'll get a, a nest made in that paper now and there'll be like a big hole where they'll get laid and sleep on a night and it'll be very warm for them so like I say they only have this over winter so as soon as summer sort of comes round and it's warm enough I'll stop putting the paper in this nest box and then there'll just be the shavings on the floor like there is now um, there's Bonnie in the ball pit So yeah, so that is what I use for bedding and also for on the floor to keep the hutch clean. And the ferrets seem to approve. I've never had any problems, I know a lot of people say not to use sawdust, which this isn't really sawdust, it does become a little bit sawdusty um, but yeah a lot of people say don't use, don't use sawdust because they'll breathe it in and it gives them breathing problems but like I say in the six seven years last six seven years that I've been keeping ferrets again I've, I've never had any issues with that um, and the ferrets all seem to like it don't mind it so as long as they're happy, we're all happy. And that's that. So if you have any questions, um, then drop a comment and I'll answer. I tend to always reply to all comments. You can follow me on Twitter, Facebook, Instagram and Reddit. There's, there'll be links in the description for all of them. And there's also, if you look on my homepage on the YouTube channel, you can, there's the links in the top right hand corner. Um, don't forget to subscribe, and if you do subscribe, you will probably see there'll be some more ferreting videos and shooting videos coming up in the coming months. I have been out with a long net just recently, and we did a bit, of, a little bit of filming, but <laughs> didn't quite go to plan, so... And we've been out last week and we're going out tomorrow so hopefully i'll get i'll get some footage recorded and i'll get a video put together but until then uh, that's it